All right, this is a video on systems of inequality, specifically systems of linear inequalities, and we'll start with an introduction and do a couple examples. So by way of introduction, I just want to explain that when we're solving a system of linear inequalities, we're looking for an overlapping region that works as a valid solution for both individual inequalities. So we're looking for an overlapping region. We're not looking for a single intersecting point. Okay, so and we'll model that with our first example. So we have a system of two inequalities here, the first one being 4x plus 2y is less than or equal to 20, and the second being y is greater than 3x minus 5. So first, let's graph both boundary lines, and I will graph the first one in red here. 4x plus 2y is less than or equal to 20. That is set up in standard form, the boundary line. The boundary line being 4x plus 2y is equal to 20. So let's just graph the boundary line first, okay? So I like to graph that using the intercept method. Let's imagine x is 0, y would be 10, okay? If x is 0, that disappears. 2y is 20, so y is 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, up here. Second, secondly, let's imagine that y is 0, and so that term would disappear, x would be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we can then just simply connect those two lines. Whoops. There we go. And let's try to make a nice, neat line there. And that would be the boundary line. We have to think about which side are we shading, the left side or the right side. I like to imagine plugging in the origin, the point zero, zero, and see if we get a valid inequality. So in this case, is 4 times 0 plus 2 times 0 less than or equal to 20? It definitely is. So we will uh, then shade this side that includes the 0, 0. So we're going to shade this side here, the lower left side of the boundary line. Okay. Let's work with the next one now, and I'll do that one in purple here. <coughs> Excuse me. This boundary line is going to be y is equal to 3x minus 5, and it's going to be a dashed line. Okay, so let's set up a dashed line here. And we have a y-intercept of negative 5, and then a slope of 3. So up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, etc. Okay, so we can go ahead and draw that line in. Making, trying to make a nice neat line there. And that is a dashed line because y is strictly greater than 3x minus 5. The uh, points on the actual boundary line are not valid solutions of the inequality. Let's think of a point or side of the boundary line to shade. And let's plug in 0, 0 once again. So is this a valid point? Is 0 greater than 3 times 0 minus 5? Once again, it is. So we will shade the side of my boundary line that includes 0, 0. Okay? So our solution to this set of this um, system of inequalities, and I will try to shade this about in um, green here, is this area here, okay? Everything that has an overlap of purple and red, okay? So there are some, there are some zones that just have red and some zones that just have purple. We're looking for the area that includes both purple and red. We would include the red boundary line in our solution. We would not include the purple boundary line in our solution. So to be, and to be even as clear as I can be, this point is the intersection point of the two boundary lines, but it is actually not a point on the solution of our system of inequalities because all points on the purple dotted line are not actual solutions. So we're not looking for an intersection point here. We're looking for a zone, a region, an area, a two-dimensional area of overlapping shaded, um, shaded areas. All right, let's look at it. Let's solve an, another one here using technology. So I think you can see that we have some, maybe a little bit more complex of some inequalities here, some fractions, some decimals we're working with. Often it's easiest just to go to Desmos and plot these up. And so let's do that. I'll, I'll copy the image that Desmos gives us and paste it back into our note app here. So these are our two 
um, our inequalities that we're working with, and you can see that they're shaded in the appropriate ways. Let me go ahead and copy this guy over, and I'll paste it into my note app here. All right, and so now I can mark it up a little bit. And so it looks like you can see that our solution, our shaded zone is the overlapping of the green and blue. So it's going to be that zone down in there. What are the regions of the plane that contain both green and blue? And any point in here, so that point, that point, that point, any of those points are all valid solutions, including points on the boundary lines because they're solid boundary lines and including the intersection of the two boundary lines. Those are all valid solutions to our system of inequalities. And lastly, we'll look at a linear and an absolute value system. And so we'll graph both of these guys up here and then look at their regions of solution as well. So first we will graph the solution, the um, inequality y is less than 0.5x plus 3. That needs to be as a dashed line, so I need to get that going as a dashed line because it's a strictly less than, it's not a less than or equal to. So we'll start that off by going to our y-intercept of 3 and then um, applying our slope of 0.5. So up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. 1 over 2 is a half. That's equal to 0.5. And we can graph this line here, roughly. And we can actually, let's try to get it a little bit more precise here. There we go. And so there's our boundary line. This is a y is less than 0.5x plus 3. So I'm going to shade the area below the line that includes the origin because x, y equals 0. Both result in valid solutions to this inequality. Both result in a valid solution to this inequality. Next, we'll do something similar, but with the uh, absolute value inequality. Y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x. So let's graph that inequality, or graph the boundary line first. So remember, an, an absolute value function is going to look like our parent function here is going to look like two rays. Going up in that pattern. And here we are looking at a y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x. This boundary line goes through the origin, so we can't plug in the origin as a test point. But we can plug in a, an arbitrary point maybe up here where y looks like maybe y is 8 and x is 0. Is 8 greater than or equal to the absolute value of 0? It is. So we will shade the side that includes that test point. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and now once again we need to think about the area or the zone that is common to both shaded regions. What's the area of overlap? And I will do that in black again. It looks like it's this triangle right here. Okay. So that's the area that is common to both regions. That is the area that is our so the solution to our system of inequalities here. And looks like we got through it. That's a good place to stop.